In ancient times, if a woman wanted that empress crown, she'd have to beat the king's triple challenge. Picture this, four muscle men, a frame, bells everywhere. The goal, slip through without a single bell ringing or no empress title for you. Our contenders, three princesses, each from a different corner of the world, all rocking flawless figures. First challenge, a walk in the park for them. The king, totally stoked, rolls out challenge number two, a brain game. He gets the elders to hit the princesses with some tough questions, and boom, each one nails it with a different but spot-on answer. On to challenge three, and it's getting real. Enter strongmen, a table, and three cups of wine. Then, three beggars are brought in, down the wine, and bam, one guy hits the floor. Everyone's freaking out. Turns out, one of those cups had poison. But wait, there's more. The princesses? They're up for the same deadly wine test. Eyes covered, cups shuffled. It's game time. In the old days, to be an empress, women faced the king's triple test. The final round? A deadly choice of drink, with one goblet holding lethal poison. One princess bails on the empress race, and the king's cool with it, asking the other two if they're in or out. Both stick around. Princess Abby steps up to the wine table, playing it smart. She lets Princess Shaoling pick first. Shaoling doesn't hesitate, grabs a goblet, and downs it. Lucky her, no poison. Now it's Abby's turn. She's shaking, lifts a goblet, but before it hits her lips, she's face down on the table. Plot twist. Shaoling grabs Abby's goblet, drinks it all. Not stopping there, she downs the last goblet too. The king's seriously impressed with Shaoling. She lays it down. As king, you wouldn't risk lives just to pick an empress. And guess what? The beggar who collapsed? He's up and about. Turns out, none of the drinks were poison. The real test? Courage. And just like that, Princess Shaoling becomes the empress.